So the Houston Texans finally play a complete football game. Kind of complete, actually, there was some things that was kind of rough, but we'll break that down a little more for you. So the Houston Texans beat the New England Patriots 41-21, to and I think the big thing about this game is that it's the very first time the Texans have ever beat the Patriots in New England. At one point, we were 0-7, versus the Patriots in New England, whether it was the regular season or the postseason. I am very happy to say we exercised those demons. Shout out to JJ Watt and those Letterman jackets. We did that for you. Looking into this game, the first quarter was pretty good. Um, two touchdowns, CJ was looking good, the offense was looking good, the defense was making plays. So I was like, okay, this could finally be the first game where we get a really sexy blowout. Then we go to the second quarter. And the second quarter is those things that, that's, that's, that's the, the those demons coming back. Because in the second quarter, we scored no points, no field goals, no touchdowns. We had a missed field goal. We had an interception off Dalton Schultz's hands. I think CJ, I don't know how many interceptions CJ got, but it's if it's not at the same amount as last year, it's right below. And then we give up a long touchdown to Drake May, and then now it's 14-7. to And the thing I look, and, and for me, it looked like it was going to be one of those games. Because I'm like, this is a game that should have been a blowout immediately. This should have been 21-0. 24-0 like it should have been that type of thing and the Patriots get some garbage time points instead it was a very it seemed competitive game 14 to 7 it's just like you're shooting yourself in the foot and we're just not capitalizing and I was very worried what the schedule looks like for the rest of the year especially these next five games bro you need to you need to win this game this is not a game you play with you want to win games like this so 14 to 7 and a half I'm a little worried then we go to the second half things pick up uh we score touchdowns they score touchdowns, but we forced a lot of really good turnovers. You know, they had one interception, got batted off my man's hand, and it uh, went right into the guys. I, I don't know who caught the interception, but it was a really sexy interception. Uh, Will Anderson had a really standout day with three sacks. The, the thing I'll tell you is that the defense, to me, won this game more than the offense. The offense capitalized off of the defense, making big plays. That is not likely going to happen when you face teams like Green Bay next week, when you face the Jets, when you face the Lions, the Cowboys. But hey, it's good to take advantage of things like that. You're facing rookie quarterback. He didn't look that bad. You know, some of the plays weren't his fault. He, he looked like a decent quarterback. He looked like a guy that's like, hey, he's not perfect now, but he definitely has a lot of potential in the future. He had three touchdowns, I believe, either two or three interceptions. And I know one of them interceptions was not his fault. Um, if it wasn't, I think he had two interceptions and a forced fumble. I think he fumbled the ball. But the defense, they played really good today. Fair bear missing that 40-yard field goal. I, I don't like to see that. But he made a 59-yarder um, last week, so I'm not tripping about it. This is one of those wins where we needed to have this type of energy, this type of exercise, this demon, because it only gets harder from here. Joe Mixon coming back definitely helped the offense a lot. We definitely missed Joe Mixon. If I was to grade every position today, and I'll give every position a grade, um, the offense, I'll give them a, I'll give them a B plus. I think that second quarter stalling was bad. They scored 41 points and it was all offense. I only reason I say it's a B plus because, you know, what, I, what I'm going to give the defense is the reason why I'm going to give it a B plus because they had a bunch of short fields and made, you know, defense made a lot of plays. So you're capitalizing on what happened, you know, the turnovers, I give the offense a B plus, but I need the offense these next couple weeks. I know you have no Nico Collins, but you add Joe Mixon back so and Damian Pierce. So I need this offense to be cooking these next couple weeks. I need this offense to be locked in, able to score 30. This offense, this our defense is built to have a great offense. And what I mean by that is like, if your offense scores 30 points, our defense can hold another team under 30. Like we can do that. Now, if your offense just scores 20, we can lose the game. But if your offense scores 30, 30, 30 points, our defense can hold teams. If you score 27 points, I think our defense can hold teams under 27. But if you're not scoring and you get the defense tired and you're not playing, the offense is not playing good ball, then you know you can definitely lose. So offense, B plus, but I need a little more. Defense, I give y'all A plus. That was an amazing game. It's one of the best games I've seen the defense play. They played good ball. I mean, they Eric Murray, you know, he gave him some long touchdowns and there's some brain farts. And I, I'm not gonna be too mad at it because it was a blowout game and you know you're you're you kind of tell they're not even really doing much, but most definitely a defense with Will Anderson is three sacks. We had forced fumbles. We had interceptions. I mean, we played really inspiring football. So I can see that when we face rookie quarterbacks, we can make some really big plays. Shout out to Mario Edwards as well. He had a really good game. Shout out to Jalen Petrie. He had a pretty good game. Um, shout out to the defense, man. They play good ball. Special teams, I give you a B. Uh, Fairbairn missed field goal, just hurts it. 
because that type of stuff keeps people in games. We can't have you missing 40 yard field goals, my man. But you're still the all time leading Texan scorer, so I shouldn't be too mad at you for that. I know I had the video a couple weeks ago where I said that we're frauds. Um, and at that point, we were definitely frauds. Right now, still need still still something to prove but we had solid win against buffalo and then you had a really impressive win against new england so you know we got the stretch now there's no more easy games at green bay the colts at home i know that could be easy but it's a divisional opponent then you face the jets then you face the lions then you face the cowboys so these next five games they are you gotta lock in after that i think you face the titans seems pretty simple but those five see if you can get three and two you go three and two it's eight and eight and three. That's a that's a great record. So the next five, see so even go three and two. If you can F around, go five and oh, four and one. Significantly better. Because if the Texans can go four and one in this stretch, then I have a lot of confidence that they can make a really good push to the AFC championship. Um, a lot of people were getting on me saying, Man, I'm jumping to conclusions too fast. And you know, after we barely beat the Colts and the Bears, and you know, excuse me for you know having high expectations. I don't want to just win the division. Winning the division doesn't seem like it shouldn't be a goal like we we do that we've done that many times the goal is to win the super bowl and that's that's a lofty goal it's a big time goal but this is a team that has the potential and the talent to do it so you just have to be mentally focused and play with some energy play hungry and execute right and if you do that it's easier said than done but if you do that then you can see that success so it's very important with this these next couple of games we play some good football um, obviously, the Ravens and Chiefs, they seem like the creme de la creme. They seem like the best teams in the division. It seems like no one can touch them at this point. I mean, the Ravens, you know, when we play those two, I mean, you know, it's going to be it's going to be rough. It's going to be it's going to be it's going to be stressful. I'm not saying it's going to be rough. It's going to be stressful, man. So if we can split that, at least I think we'd be dope. But, you know, great win, Texans. Um, keep proving me wrong. I called you frauds. Keep proving me wrong. I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Uh, for my Patriots fans, it was bound to happen. You got your quarterback. It's just, you know, at this moment, you had a lot of plot. So you being one and five right now, that's just that's just the natural way of things. You had Tom Brady. Now it's your time to struggle a little bit, but you'll you'll be OK. You're going to be OK. As long as you find your quarterback, you'll be fine. And you did. So congratulations to you for that. But hey, for more text and content, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's the road to 1500. And next week, we face Jordan Love. We'll see how we do. We'll see these boys lock in, see if they play some good ball. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.